And you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Washington football team and the Philadelphia Eagles. To kick off for Philadelphia. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. a three-yard gain there. Number 88. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. He's brought down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Allen. And he finds McLaurin. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A gain of seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. the shotgun now here's an inside give and he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five three yard line that's a really nice tough run inside and they gained five yards on it and be frank about it most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that so when they do they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps they're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage Second and five now. Allen, and he'll find Hall. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. He'll try and run it. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. So the illegal forward pass also cost him a down, and now it's second and long. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but now it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. So the 
shotgun snap to Allen. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer so short. But it brings up fourth down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Again, they'll throw with Allen. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Number 11. Touchdown, Washington. CD, that call, it took some guts. It's not like they were at the one-yard line. They had some distance to go. They certainly did, and, you know, a lot of people might say that's fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants type of coaching, but it's also sending a message out there. We're going to be unpredictable. You can't prepare for anything with us. You never know which way we're going to go. We zig, you zag. And now some serious opening drive momentum. from the six and he'll be stopped up at the 25 first and 10 at their own 25 yard line Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25 yard line Sanders' first carry of the game. They're able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Here's Hurts to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. That, Charles, the first interception he's thrown here in year number two. And I know it's just the first one, but didn't it feel like what we saw from him last year, where he was plagued by this type of a play? And they thought that, you know, over the offseason, going into a second season, some of that would go away. Thus far, still looks a lot like his rookie year. So after the INT, it's Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hall. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. From the gun, it's Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. To number 88. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And Washington is able to stretch their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Taking in at the three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. At their own 26-yard line. Yeah. 
Roberts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 26. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. They'll run with Sanders, and he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Hurt sets up to throw it. Flush to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive gain. from the gun, it's Hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Montez Sweat able to get him down for a loss of 11, and it brings up fourth down. To punt it away on fourth down, here's Drew Kayser. This is taken at the 15. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Now right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. from the gun. Allen. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Allen's Not much there, only a yard. Number 88. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine at the 34-yard line. Here's second and nine. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14. Eagles nothing. Still nine remaining on second down. From the gun, Allen. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Operating from the gun, Allen. He's going to take another shot here. And unable to connect. Incomplete.
take their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Taken in at the 22. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it. Punt's on the first better. Drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. At the 44 yard line. From the gun, it's Hurts. Dancing to his left. Hurts fumbles it. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. For the extra point. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. The left side here to Sanders. Complete two. Call it a gain of five. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and this shows on the scoreboard. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. On first and ten, it hurts. He'll fire it deep for Rager. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the ten. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. On play action, Allen. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. On second down, it's Gibson. Nice footwork at the 25. Taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. Big yardage that time for Washington. 79 yards. 
First down, Washington. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They run the counter. Gibson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. And they drew up the counter there. It worked. And they're glad they drew up the counter. And a lot of times what you're trying to do is just simply get the defense moving in one direction. It doesn't take much. Even one step's enough. Get them going in one direction and then cut back against the grain and let your running back finish it off and get the work done. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. But first down, Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Complete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Get him, get him, get him. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. Let's twist, let's twist, let's twist. Throwing his hurts. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. this thing way downfield and he overshot him there it's out of bounds incomplete early on the running game's been working well and the offensive line has been pleased by that the thought process there catch those safeties creeping up trying to help against the running game they tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully Here we go, 
Allen again here on second and ten. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Avante Maddox. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And when I looked out, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Third down, he'll drop the throw. And that will be incomplete as well. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Take it at the 37. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Nearly a huge return, as it is still a very good one. 24 yards. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And he'll give it here to his running back. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. 36-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, Allen, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone, and that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. In the end zone. It's third down, and seven yards to go. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. From the contact. He was covered by Trey Williams. So on fourth down, Ron Rivera sends out the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this won't get there. Won't be online either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, 
about two out of three. And this is not an easy kill. Yeah, you know, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of play. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And able to get this out to the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. offense set to begin their next drive and that first half one to forget really on both sides of the ball they got to find some way to string something together here don't they yeah they're down big right now so as you mentioned trying to find something to string together get some consistency something sustained maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one yeah because right now you're down big you're being shut out let's see if this is the drive that kind of kick starts them. He takes this for three to the 29. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. That's taken on the 25. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Hey, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shut. He's got it, hit the 15. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. A huge play there for Washington. 52 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Allen going to throw. Got a man. It's Gibson complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Steven Nelson able to get a hand in in coverage. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man when in coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Play action. Now it's Allen. Toward the pylon, caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. First and goal. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Allen. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. 
Makes extra point splits the uprights, and the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Five-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Second down, here's Hurts. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. 26 Mike, 26 Mike, right here. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. It's second and inches at the 44-yard line. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive. But they're moving now with a first and ten. the gun they'll look to throw and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today picked off by Troy Apke 20 10 and he will bring this one back it is a pick six for a Washington touchdown so this defense doubling its pleasure there remember they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game and now this time an interception return for another score and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Washington, 42. Eagles, nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. So they get the one score kickoff, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return fielded just outside the goal line and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line at their own 20 yard line Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 20 They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Here's second and eight. He'll fire deep for Rager. And got his man complete. A big play there for Philly. And even 40 yards. 
So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL... And now here is another interception. Exception. Picked off at the 13. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the 11-yard line. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second and 12, Allen looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. First I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Let's go one more. 49. On first down, Allen. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. So a decent game, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. Only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. 49, 49 is the mark, 49 is the mark. Back in 60. Allen, off the play fake. And he'll get this to Antonio Gibson complete. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. To throw again on second down. Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Antonio Gibson, the intended target. And it's third down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Washington on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and 16. 49, 49 to Mike, Mike team, right here. Allen to throw once more. Going up top. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Another run here with Sanders. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. A nice steady gain. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and one. 
The Eagles on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. First and ten at the fourth. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. to his left. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Now they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. On first and 10, it's Sanders, and he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. It was Anthony Averett who got him down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. There'll be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. They'll set up to throw. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. And 13. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Troy Apke. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And guys, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Boy stays up, shedding through the defense. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Well, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because it nearly got to him there. And it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. So Allen's going to look to throw. Buying time to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And that is incomplete. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there. 
but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. Throwing his Allen on third. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. But we know he has pretty good hands on display there. In fact, he only needed one of them. Yeah, nowadays, all these receivers work on this, right? They do the one-handed catches off the machine in practice. They do it with their quarterbacks. They do it contested, uncontested. They make it part of their repertoire. They'll try and run for it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, but now it's first and 10. 19 yards. And the Washington first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Throwing again, Allen. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Normally being a big bodied receiver, plays to their advantage downfield, go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. throw to throw on third down and give him another six it's caught for a touchdown and the blowout continues turning into a really good performance on the road week one you're just hoping for that first win it's tough to do it away from home though but they're looking strong it certainly is any road win in the nfl is a great road win i mean it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not in this particular situation how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. On first down, it's Sanders. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. I'd say it's a pretty good strategy. If you throw interceptions on back-to-back -back drives, let's see if the running backs can handle the ball a little bit, get things going. And also, you motivate your offensive line. I think they're in the mood to fire out and hit someone. Uh, I thought the defense, though, might be a little more prepared for that run. Pretty good gain on the ground. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Montez Sweat able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for Washington, you can't ask for a better start as they pitch a shutout here in the opener. And they'll return home next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.
I'm over grind, game over time's up. Play my cards, dump my hand, ain't really no time for luck. Either you got it, you don't. Lie to yourself if you won't. I put my team on my back, did what I could, what I had. Now I'll be all in my bag, copy and paste with the swag. Bet you can't do it like me, all my winners on repeat. Take your L like a boss, stand ten toes on your feet. I can never take a loss, I ain't set up for defeat. Four Giados on the truck, I had a dream and it stuck. Living my life cause we up, looking bad like where the love. That's why I be hella low key, but contrary to belief. Loyalty runs deep, I keep my ear to the streets. Struggle turn me to a beast. I'm off the chain, I'm off the leash. But baby girl, I play for keeps. Told my brother lately, I've been scheming against our odds like Willie Beeman. I've been grinding lately, this my season. Lord knows I'm trying to find my reason. Lay it out on the line, ain't no looking back. Giving my all with no shades attached. Can't roll no bottle, roll through the cracks. Smile ain't on you, but how you gon' act? Hey, I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. You can stand firm I'm a real one so I ain't concerned I'm fully built for this life I think I earned all my stripes I don't believe all the hype Get back on my feet and get right Watch you work, watch him hate Watch him lurk, can't relate Watch you skirt Out the mud, out the dirt A butter waters in the murks Out the gate, on sight Red breed, red tight Set the bar, take flight I've been grinding since I'm young and they told me my timing was coming. I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame, get the money. I'm out in that lay where it's sunny. I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't have food in our tummy. The life we was living ain't funny, but you cannot take nothing from me. Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother. I showed way better than I can take the type of dreams that they say. That's why I learned from my failures. Don't do the handouts or the favors. Told my brother I'ma get this paper. Was left behind, I'll see it later. To keep it real, you don't need to wait up. Lay it out on the line, ain't no looking back. Give him my all with no strings attached. Can't run the bottom, roll through the cracks. Spotlight on you, but how you want it? I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. Now I get it go. 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 I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. Now I get it go. Sleeping with my ribs touched. Nah, I get it go. Nah, I get it go.
surprise. Ain't nothing worse than losing your hero and can't say bye. And we never know, just when it's our time, the legends are gone, and we don't know why. So before they go, look, here go toast, give them a rose while they still alive. I'm feeling like real.